Here's a new one to the lineup. This is a Patrick Walters cranking stick. So this is a full cork handle, uh, full cork or uh, cork foregrip as well, which I absolutely love, especially when cranking because I tend to split my fingers up in the front and touch my line quite a bit. I like having that cork up there on the foregrip there. This rod is pretty interesting that Patrick did it this way. This is an old school rod, a throwback. This is a fiberglass rod. So it's got a little bit thicker blank than you traditionally see in today's rods because it's a throwback to glass. Now most cranking purists are gonna tell you that is a must. The argument stops as soon as you try and say, try something else other than fiberglass. Fiberglass is extremely bendy, right? So that moderate action, which Daiwa signifies as regular action. So when you see that R in the action of the, of the model of the rod, that means it's got a regular bend. It's not a fast bend, it's a regular bend. It's gonna bend sort of evenly throughout the rod. That's what fiberglass does better than any other material. It definitely makes it so that uh, you don't pull those hooks away from fish, your landing percentage goes up. It aids you in casting long distances because the whole rod loads up and kind of launches that bait out there. So I get all the features of fiberglass. The only knock on fiberglass is it tends to be a little bit heavier than the graphite materials of today's rods. So. Die was done a good job of this one and working with Patrick Walters. They balance the rod out quite nicely. Uh, they d take a lot of that heft out of having a fiberglass rod on it. But if you're a purist and you're fishing for money, follow Patrick Walters' lead and check out his new 7.6 Heavy regular action or moderate action cranking rod. Whoa. Very, very different. 